Britain. The cities in this country that I believe date back over three and a half thousand years. Good morning from a very cloudy Batumi here in Georgia. This is the coastal city, quite a tourist city. Um, been here for the day, but right now today we are going to get lost, going to walk across Batumi, go check it out, and we are on our way to the old town. That's the plan. I hope it's not too windy for the video. I really hope so. But yeah, really, really love this city. It's so different to Tbilisi. We're gonna check it out. Why? Go check out my other video of Tbilisi if you haven't already. And right now, it's good morning. And welcome to Batumi. And I just want to point this out. I can find my hotel from anywhere in this city because it's the one that's still being built. Even just coming back in one year, how much this place is gonna be built. Because everywhere you look, there's cranes and there's building sites. A lot of investment in this place, a lot very growing Georgia must be growing as a tourist destination I'm so close to Turkey the Turkish border is about 20 kilometers that way so it's a really quite a multicultural um, place Batumi lots of Russians here lots of Turkish here and a Brit and Mancunian you get so many high-rise apartments new builds hotels dominating the skyline but you also get like the more old school buildings the smaller ones like this and they kind of just intertwine throughout the whole of Batumi and I really like it I really like how you can see the transition of this city happening who knows what it'll be like in 10 years but honestly sometimes when you look up it feels like you're in the Middle East really really glad I came here and looking at the registration plates on a lot of the vehicles around, you see vehicles from Ukraine, lots of vehicles from Russia, you see vehicles from Turkey, from Iran. I'm seeing lots of vehicles from Armenia as well. So it really is such, such a multinational place, which you kind of find with a lot of tourist areas anywhere, which is going to bring tourism, tends not to just be very local. It's a different world away from Tbilisi different vibe very different vibe and Georgia not many people seem to know this as well but Georgia is very very heavily into or based on wine culture like wine culture in Georgia is absolutely everywhere which is very interesting because in the West I've never heard of Georgian wine I'm not much of a drinker but we have you know wine from California South America Italy various parts of Europe but I've never known wine from Georgia to be in that category and by all accounts it should be catching the train from Tbilisi here to Batumi was just incredible just mountains and mountains very much like Albania if you've seen my videos from Albania or if you've been in Albania such a mountainous region and then you just have the cities nestled within them so if you're ever going to be in Georgia honestly ride the train ride the train you will go through some incredible nature welcome to batumi there's always a bakery around always like lots of breads cheese breads with milk but it's always baked fresh oh the bakery food is so good here so yeah to talk about the alphabet and the letters so georgia is an extremely old civilization i believe the oldest human remains ever found outside of africa were found here in georgia and so the language the 
the letters they're not seen anywhere else in the world. So, <laughs> so yeah, and even trying to translate some of it, even trying to work out what some of the letters actually are in, let's say, Latin letters, which is what we use in English. And it's it's really it's really completely different. I would love to learn the Georgian alphabet, and it's something I may try and look into just out of my own personal interest. But you do see it everywhere. But obviously, with this being a very tourist area, which has a lot of people from outside of Georgia, you tend to find a lot more translations. That's what I've noticed. Here in Batumi, you always get like the English translation and mostly the Russian translation as well. Whereas actually in Tbilisi, the capital, you saw that a lot less. You would just see the Georgian letters. I love the buses here, look. The little buses, but they look super futuristic and I don't know why. I'm gonna try and ride one. That'll be a plan while we're in Batumi is to ride uh, the bus. But yeah, we continue on. So everybody in the West, we all know what Holland and Barrett is. So I'm gonna do this to show you, to show you the direct translation of the letters. So as you can read it, it says Holland and Barrett. And then above it is the exact same words, but in the Georgian alphabet. So above that is Holland and Barrett. So each letter corresponds to the first letter in that is the H, then the O. I love the O's, they look like little hearts. Then L, then an A, then an N, then a D. But the the actual symbols that you get for the letters are just incredibly different. And like I said, they're not seen anywhere else in the world because Georgia is so old, such an old civilization. The cities in this country that I believe date back over three and a half thousand years. to the old town I've come across this a museum of Georgian arts so let's go check it out oh but before we do look how mega that building is it's new it's clearly new but it's designed and made to look old and I love that but anyway art museum let's go will somebody please caption this please you know what, this could capture current day civilization if there was a phone in her hand. Put a phone in her hand like she's taking a selfie. <laughs> That's 2023 culture right there. Sorry, but isn't that the face of a guilty man there? Isn't that the face of a guilty man? Wonder what he did. So probably my favourite piece of the whole gallery and don't hold me, I am not an art critic in any way, shape or form. But I love the detail on that, I love the detail on that, it's mega. I would so love to know what's going on there. I think we're now making it to the old town of Batumi because things seem a lot more spaced out and you get a lot less high rise, it's less busy as well. That's when you know you're in the old town of a city. It's older and it's more chill. It's always, more, always more chill. So nice and so clean. It reminds me of, um, well it certainly feels like Novi Sad in Serbia. Big shouts to Serbia. And also, to anyone wondering, Georgia is extremely good for people willing to relocate. It's the type of place you can be here for a year without a visa, you can work here, you can study here. And I believe getting a visa is really quite easy as well. So made it to here, the square in the old town of Batumi. Extremely old buildings around, you totally get that vibe. However, got to be honest, what kills it for me, there's a KFC there, and there's a McDonald's over there. 
kind of kills it kind of kills the vibe of the whole old town traditional just just takes the edge off it nothing against ks well yeah them places yeah this is the old town and also talking about batumi it being a very tourist place but you get some of the big 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 hotel chains here like you've got the radisson here the ramada hotel groups here as well so obviously for this part of the world it's a very big big tourist destination it's just in the west like i don't know anyone who's ever gone on holiday to georgia georgia is a hidden treasure i'm telling you so if you like your traveling and your backpacking definitely put georgia on your list look at that so right behind me here we have the constitutional court of georgia now, I don't know if you can see it, it's not very noticeable, but you can see the EU flag. Now, you see the EU flag everywhere. A lot of people display the Georgian flag and then the EU flag together. And although Georgia is not part of the EU, it wishes to be, it has aspirations to be. And I think displaying the EU flag certainly is, I believe, a bit of an anti-Russia statement. But yeah, the Constitutional Court of Georgia here in Batumi. Probably not allowed to film them. Georgian cops. Although they look like children, I'm not gonna lie. They literally look about 15 years old, those guys. I love hidden little secret cities. Like I'd never even heard of Batumi before I was coming to Georgia. Never heard of it. I I'd heard of the capital Tbilisi, but that's because I love my geography. But I'd never heard of the city of Batumi. And now you have too. And it's amazing. Welcome to Batumi. With the geographical location of this country so closely connected to russia and ukraine i believe you have a lot of ukrainian refugees that came here as well and also lots of russians who fled russia during mobilization so you see a lot of pro-ukrainian anti-russian rhetoric you see it a lot and also with the fact that georgia and russia had a war in 2008 i think makes people lean much more towards the plight of Ukraine. So you see this a lot, obviously the Ukrainian flag. There's a huge memorial on the wall and you do see it a lot, an awful lot. And such an amazing thing about this city as well. I really hope you can see it on the video, but the mountains in the background, like this is a beautiful seaside city, but surrounding it all directions is the mountains. Really reminds me of Albania. So I'm about to wrap up this video of Batumi. We've just been walking across the city, checking out the old town. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you next time.